the word defibrillator for today, where we trust in God for a word from within the word. Luke 19. And some of the Pharisees from the throng said to Jesus, Teacher, reprove your disciples. Now, what was happening as he was approaching the city in verse 37, this is the amplified version where we expand it. At the descent, uh, at the descent, the descent of the Mount of Olives, the whole crowd of the disciples began to rejoice and to praise God, extolling Him, exultantly and loudly, for all the mighty miracles and works of power that they had witnessed. Now, understanding that they, well, verse thirty-eight, crying, blessed, celebrated with praises, as the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven, freedom there from all the distress that are experienced as a result of sin, and glory, majesty, and splendor in the highest heaven. <laughs> ah, you know what? I think that's what needs to happen. Uh, going out last night celebrating a birthday of a friend and an incredible journey, and then on top of it they get proposed to for marriage. Ah, 50 years celebration. What an amazing event. And sitting and chatting to people, and I now look at the scripture, is my word. Do I make that noise? Sometimes just in the example that I set. I listen to these guys. They're extolling him, exulting thee loudly for all the mighty miracles and works of power that they had witnessed. I've witnessed major miracles, I'm sure you have, just in the birth of a child and how God provides just in an amazing way. You listen to his voice and the results are out of this world where it's beyond what you expected. I've seen those miracles. I've been part of those miracles. Then they crying out, blessed, celebrated with praise. With praises is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven. That's what's there for us. Freedom there from all the distresses that are experienced as a result of sin. They are just going how amazing it is that the kingdom of heaven has sent his son to deliver us from sin. And glory, majesty and splendor in the highest heaven. Huh. So now the Pharisees, verse 39, and some of the Pharisees from the throng said to Jesus, Teacher, Reprove your disciples. It's amazing how they recognize his authority. I mean, if he had no authority, why would they ask him? They should just tell the crowd to keep quiet. But oh no. Reprove your disciples. And this was Jesus' answer. He replied, I tell you that if these keep silent, the very stones will cry out. My word. Hmm. How amazing is this? Is that even if we do not want to, through our lives, through our mouths, through the example of what's happened to us, the miracles that we've seen, and the power that has moved in our lives, and the power that is within us, if we choose not to participate in praising Him, and thanking Him, and celebrating Him, and the kingdom of heaven for what has been done for us. Jesus says, don't worry. The stones will still do it. The very stones will still do it. We know that the mountains cry out. We know that the heavens cry out. Question is, how are we doing? When we go into conversations, when we're sitting in situations, are we full of joy? Are we excited? Or are we just, just so caught up in what's not going right? The fact that we can have a thought, the fact that you are listening to this at this moment in time, just means you're alive. You breathed another breath. You just did it again. How, is it, how exciting is that? Should we not live our faith by what we do? We have faith. Speaking to a lady on how her mother had such a hard life. And then 
then died pain and suffering and i said where where is she and she said well according to her belief she's in heaven i said what an amazing comfort to know that irrespective of what we go through in life there's always heaven and it says here crying blessed celebrated with praises is the king who comes in the name of the lord peace in heaven freedom there from all the distresses that I experienced as a result of sin. Isn't that amazing that irrespective of what we're going through is where we're going to, that counts. Two things we want to know. That we have somebody that we love and they love us back. And we know where we're going when we die. My word, of course, sing praises. Of course, get excited. Because everything that we're pulling through will just be left behind. Hello, future. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your grace, your mercy. We absolutely give you victory. We thank you for your goodness. In Jesus' name, we thank you for your forgiveness. In Jesus' name. 